Hey people, how's it going? We are in Spellhold, finally. Now, I am going to get Alphonse ready for... being... Well, attacked would be the strong word. So he won't need that. But he's going to have to face up against something. So we're going to get him as ready as possible. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, speed. And we'll give him the regen ring. There we go. Alright. And oh well, we've done pretty good for the money situation. Alright. So, let us, we shall go this way. Down here. Rogue stone there. We want that. Let's see, it's money. Let's see, tap, tap, tap. All right, this is Jadil. You may remember Jadil. You? Do I know you? No, I don't know anyone. Fuck. Bad dog. Play dead. Jadil. No more tests. No more questions. No more. Fuck. Bad dog. You, the rank smell of Gulladon the unmanned. Bastard. I'm unfamiliar with the name he spouts. Certainly he was tormented long to provoke such madness. Oh, I think he was a little crazy before we got here. He was on uh, Werewolf Island. Oh, do you really think a locked door is going to save your bacon? I think this door is permanently locked. Yes. And go here and take some coins. Some hell. All right, there are two twenty-one, two hundred eleven. This is Wanif. Let's what? talk to him. What do you want? Stand up straight. I want that report by dawn. I want this hall clean. Don't you stare at me. <laughs> it's all right. Tired of working here. Wanted a holiday, was thinking of retiring, probably going to die. Time to move on under down, down, down. Did you just say you used to work here? Why are you with the inmates? Shut up. No questions. Make an appointment. The coordinator speaks to no one. No one speaks the coordinator. Okay. Hello. Have you come to play? I like to imagine stories of far away farther than you can see, or should. How did you come to be here? How do we come to be anywhere? I asked that once. Looked all the way beyond the stars, pretty stars. Shouldn't look so far, it looks back. But now I don't care, I collect my pretty shiny things, pretty. I used to have me pretties. Some are hidden, where only I can see. You want to see? Oh. Many, many pretties piled high beyond the sky. <sighs> gained an item. I think we gained a gems. And now we'll talk to the good little Hello. girl. You are new. Those your faces? Funny. <laughs> Maybe change them. Uh, what's your I'm name? Dealey today. Tomorrow, I'll be something else. Who are you today? Uh, I'm Alphonse. Alphonse? Okay, I'll be Alphonse tomorrow. I've seen you, so now I can take your face. Don't worry, you can keep it too. I like taking Puppy's face, but it scares him. He's not here, though. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Where'd you go? There you are. Another guy we remember. He rules all, he does. 
You, or you are but a left bunion of his wondrous idol. You be grateful for the chance. TX, is that you? I would take your ages. TX rules all from this throne room. You are all servants of his majesty, even as you feign ignorance. The heavens move because he waves his hand. The waters stir as he twiddles his toes. The wind blows as he passes. And on a whim, you can break them all. Well, if you're so powerful, why don't you leave here? <clears throat> TX takes no notice. Go and spread word of his mighty stature. TX rules all. Just ask him, and you shall see. <laughs> I like TX. TX. It's a crown. TX will rule. I didn't intend on talking to everyone, but we'll talk to everyone. What? What do you want? I see you! I see you all! What do you see? Everything, everyone, across the plains, all the time. Eyes do not close, even when closed. They're next to you and me and everyone, always more and more creatures from everywhere and every time. You're alone, even when alone, you just cannot see. I can see things. Things beyond the veil. It's all the same to my eyes. I see a city of changing streets under the Lady of Pain. My eyes pluck out my eyes. I can see things. Things beyond the veil. It's all the same. Do you to wish my to eyes. see? Do you wish to see? I can show you for a moment. Touch nothing. Make not a sound. See what lies between. You must watch your every move in a place such as this. But the the people Arthur, here they have like magic magical abilities, like and <laughs> they creep people out, so they got I sent here. Like their Dill's a uh, Dilly's a shape changer. Um, Wanev's just nuts. He got taken over. Dradil, he was with the Werewolf Island. Tx is just nuts. And she, I can't remember her name, but she sees everything through, like she said, through the planes. Everywhere, every time, everyone. <laughs> so, let's talk to Lank de Sane. How are we helping the less fortunate trudging around in here? Try to stop pestering me. It's hard enough keeping an eye on all of these weaving robes of spellcasters. Who, who, who is that? Keep back. Keep back. I'm here to rescue you. Who's the woman? I don't know that name. I don't know that name. She's not here. Get away from me. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll rip your eyes from your filthy faces. Don't tempt my wrath. Do not. She's not here. I don't know. I don't know that name. Well, that was interesting. I see, yes, I see. She's not here. Someone else will come. Everyone's gone crazy! And I believe the next step would be to rest. Can we rest in the hallway? I'm going to save. And uh, get your character your character ready for a fight cause shit is going down ah got the ring of rejet he's got the flail he should be okay speed I recommend some sort of speed either the boots of speed or oil of speed or haste or whatever cause <laughs> My tactic is the run and gun. Or shoot and scoot, I guess. So, uh, let's see if we can rest here. I see you have made yourself at home. I didn't think you would feel out of place here. <gasps> Don't look so surprised. You must have expected to find me near your Emmeline. 
I'm surprised you're allowed to walk freely around here. I would have killed you. Oh, I'm not incarcerated. No, I'm new coordinator, and you're in my care. Once again. It is fortunate you arrived when you did. I am eager to resume my experiments and was growing tired of waiting. What are you talking about? The cowled wizards no longer run the asylum. With Bodhi's aid, I was able to take control quite quickly. She's a fine sibling of such, if a touch predatory. Whether inmate or master, you're the monster I've been sworn to kill. You're intent on revenge or justice or whatever, but I don't really care. You can't do anything. I don't wish you to. Your fate has been sealed before you arrived. A simple addition of two rations of meals by a master of herbs, Mr. Samen Haverian. I'm prepared for an ambush. You will find you are powerless. I've taken precautions that you will not be damaged. For your rage is for naught. There is no battle, no heroics, only sleep. And everybody goes to sleep because you've been poisoned and you are now in the dream world. Well, it would seem that my visitor has awakened. It is as I predicted. It all has been. Well, this is a reality. We'll go to the dream world in a second. I fear I have had an advantage over you. I have planned your coming from the start. It could be no other way. A bit of treachery by Samen and a spell component goes into a soup some other dish undetectable and nothing more than a seasoning until my casting but don't worry you won't have to think about any of this or that your life ends today why are you doing this I have an idea it's not for you to know suffice to say re I regret what must occur I know the rage you feel once I am done I seek death of others for similar reasons don't worry, Imun has already suffered what she must for my cause. She even survived, and this bodes well for you. You are stronger, more focused, and you are aware. You want me because I'm a child of Baal. Imun is more than bait, and has served you, and served just as you will. She's like you in many ways, and in one very special one. Just sort of out of thing. I, th th this annoys me. It's just... Making a too much of a convenience of something. Because, you know. It, it's just, uh, I don't know. Too convenient for Imwin to be a child of all as well. Because it sort of takes away the storyline of your character. I mean, yes, there are other ball spawn, but... You tend to kill him! So... I just find Imwin being a child of ball annoying. And it's like, oh, her innocence protected her. Well, I was fucking innocent too. You're out of your mind. She, you must have suspected. Perhaps she felt no symptoms, but the taint was there. She's similar age, and was apparently secluded as a child, just as you were. Yeah, because there are no females in Candlekeep. They don't ever think about getting it on. I'm serious. This Gorion of yours should have told you about yourselves early on. You might have learned not to fear what you are. Imwin is indeed a child of all. I suspect innocent charm and humor suppressed the darkness. She showed no symptoms because there was no place for shadow in her spirit. I had to show her some very dark shadows indeed. It's unfortunate that it had to be done, but it was necessary to get what I needed. Now I must focus on you. I'm strong enough to stop you. No, Alphonse, you are not. It is very much more likely that you are about to die. Unfortunately, but unavoidable. Do you see the shadow thieves in the other chambers? They are the fruits of Bodhi's guild war, and their death shall face the divine soul, force the divine soul from you. Don't be afraid, Alphonse. I suspect this will be mercifully quick. No, Imperia! More rapture of the father. And dream world. Do not fight. To fight is to lose. Come to me. Find. Where are you? Within. Find me within. You cannot fight alone. You cannot. Find me within. All right, we are in the dream world. Now, 
Um, we're going to come up to a demon. We have to go in here. This is basically Dream Candle Keep. Here's the keep. There's our party that can't help us. And uh, we need to get into the keep. But we have to talk to this demon first. I'll quick save. Um, in the first game, since this is an import, the uh, you were able to get uh, books that would increase your abilities. And I used all of the books on myself with the exception of Charisma because uh, 11 Charisma really didn't do anything. Now we'll prove that by removing this setting. See, 10 Charisma, but he used all the Wisdom books. Oh, he didn't use the Intelligence book either. I think he used it on somebody else. Maybe he had a 9 Intelligence. The Charisma definitely went to our Paladin, but um, this is the big one right here, Constitution. A 17 Constitution for th Cleric Thief doesn't do anything. You don't get extra hit points or anything. But I did that for a specific reason, and it was for this test. Because to get past the demon, you need to give up something. And if your game's, like, patched, you can... There's a way to skip out of it. You do the fake talk strategy. But, you know, since I'm not doing anything important, I will just... Talk to demon. The path is to the core, the depths of your soul. Only through sacrifice can you achieve such insight. Do you give of yourself that you should know yourself? Do you let go of what you are that you might see from a distance? Choose what you will sacrifice to know yourself, to walk within. Give of your skill, your health, your mind, your wits, or your youth. You notice charisma is not listed, which means... Even if I'd taken the Charisma book, it still wouldn't have helped. So, um, health is constitution, mind is intelligence, wits is wisdom, youth is agility. So, we are going to give health, and you can't beat him, but we're going to give health constitution, because it's not going to affect like our hit points or anything. If you're like a fighter type, or you have a 16 or lower thing, don't take from your hit points, they're important. And through your weakness you shall suffer. Know it yourself better for the effort you must extend. You shall know more of yourself through what you have lost. A gesture of your insight with it. Pass as you should. And do not fear what comes. We have lost one point of constitution. So now we are... Yay! But it doesn't matter. Because we're the same. And we're going to go in here. And I do it this way. To... Uh, map the area out because we're going to be running and I like to know where I'm running and also you get a dialogue scene ooh anything thievable it's my dream is there anything thievable hell yes I, I can see you there wait and we can win how did you get here I thought you were incapacitated before the shadows return to me, I have seen what is to come. One alone cannot fight. Together we must battle your instinct. Alone you would fall whether you win or lose. But here in my sight, we can defeat it. Lead the creature here. Lead it to me. And we shall fight it together. Together. He does not expect us together. But he has shown me how. Go and leave the beast here. It is your only chance, and my last. And, spoilers, that's not really Imowen. That is your soul that has taken the form of Imowen. We're probably not going to get back here, but for the sake of I need to open everything, <laughs> we shall do it. Do it! Nice digs. Alright, so we've done that, and now we gotta go back outside and we have to go find the beast. The instinct. 
which is on this side. So I would suggest getting um, your shit together, taking your potions and activating anything, and we will be using these. And why we'll be using those? Because shit's gonna go down. Take the push of speed. Here we go! Where you at? There it is. Let him do his talk. Fall to your knees. You can do no other. I am within you. I. What do you want here? What do I want? Your life, your soul, your body. I am the instinct that will fuel the father. I am the blood. And now run, because he's going to attack you and he can kick your ass. And you can't uh, kill him with no without M1. You can damage him, though, as you can see. Injured. But that is your soul or your ball taint. Best among us <laughs> now it is in my sight. I will add my will to yours. He has shown me how to make it vulnerable. I am your instinct. Yet you deny me? Fight me within your own mind? I should devour you. How do you stand? I sense your soul. It has taken form to guide from within. You are strange among your kin. But it... It is weak and will not help again. You are empty inside. There is nothing within but the instinct. Ah! Something is wrong. I... No. Not again. Not again. And now your soul is gone. Well, you are a strong one indeed. You resist beyond all reason. The pity you are dead on the inside. You cannot turn me against myself. I have strengths you cannot see. I don't know what you faced while mad within the spell, but here in the world of the living, my plans have gone as I have wished. I have drained you. Drained you of the very thing that made you special. It is the worst of curses. I should know. What are you up to now? No, you want no villain's exposition <laughs> from me. You are barely sentient now. I have taken your very divinity and drained you of your soul. Oops. The curse that was wrought against Bodhi and I has now ceased, and yours has begun. You will wither, you will wane, and you will die. Bodhi, remove this nothing, and Imoen as well. We are restored at their expense and need them no longer. Our revenge to come is now all the sweeter. As you would have it, my brother. Of course. See to it as quickly as possible. I will tell our friends in the dark of our coming. We will plan our assault from here. I bid you farewell, child of Baal. We shall not meet again. Somebody leveled up. Cutscenes, cutscenes. And so your life does come to an end. A pity. You have proven resilient beyond all expectation. It is appealing to me. Uh, spare your words and do what you've been ordered, like a good girl. Irenicus does indeed wish you dead, but I am not his lapdog and you are now subject to my will. Your chance will foster no resentment towards my brother, but I also need not obey him just yet. Your abilities have piqued my interest, and since you are to die, I would have you do it in an entertaining fashion. Irenicus can be so dour when he wishes. He's set upon revenge for his banishment, and I can think of nothing else and can think of nothing else. A failing of his mind remaining flesh, I suspect. And death has given me focus, and an interest in the abilities of powerful creatures, an interest in you. I will make your death glorious as well as entertaining. Bring it. You should. You must run my gauntlet to prolong your life. You must do so knowing you have but the slimmest of chances of make to make a difference. You see the passage before you? It is the darkest part of the asylum and its history, a test of clarity for its prisoners by a director that delighted in dissecting the mind. Now he is under my influence, and this place is mine to control. 
is a masterpiece of madness, one that you will come to know intimately. It has been some time since I have given chase to a worthy foe. Enter the maze of this place and seek an exit. I give you time to run, after which I will come to feed. But you are not running solely for my benefit. I give you reason as well to make the hunt more desperate. You may yet foil Irenicus, though the chance is small. His plans will take time, just about as long as my hunt. Run my gauntlet and your life ends, or is freed. The hunt begins. Now we got a choice. I'm all right. I was so scared. You came all this way to get me, and we were almost. I'm sorry, Alphonse. I was just so worried. We survived, but not unscathed. That must know what he did to me. I don't know, really. Same thing he did to you, I guess, since we're the same. Alphonse, he showed me what you are in the end, what I am, and then he took it away. I don't know who I am, Alphonse. You may not feel it yet, but the spell made me feel hollow. He took something vital. He says it was my divine soul. I found I'm a child of a god, and now I'm empty and dying. You are, too. I'm strong. I'm not going to waste away. I survived the fight in the dream. The dream. Alphonse, I had no dream during my ritual, just blackness, and my will draining away. Has this affected you differently than me? You've been dealing with Bala since longer. Perhaps you're more focused. Or perhaps it's more focused upon you. There was a malevolent taint to my dreams. I know what the fuck it was about. It's about ball. I don't know. Dead gods never rest easy. Whatever the cause, our mortal lives should be our first concern. It's been getting weaker, Alphonse, and it's only been a few days since they performed their ritual on me. If we don't reverse what's done, if we don't reverse our souls, we'll probably both die. I'm going to have her join me, and hopefully that won't fuck shit up. Then we should leave right away. Join and we will go. No more wasted time. Good, I miss traveling to you, Alphonse, even when times were bad. And we're going to remove Nalia for the moment. Thank you for your help. You have helped me again, and I am grateful. Think nothing of it. I will try to be less of a burden on the party in the future. I, I trust you'll still want my company in the party. We don't need you right now. I will remain here until you've changed your mind. Good. All right, awesome. So, now I will save. And we are in spell hole. The spell hole maze one. Mouse? Mouse. And we shall end this on a high note. How I like to get rid of Imowen is I like to pretend that Imowen went crazy and killed herself. That's a permanent trap, by the way. You can't disarm it. So, there we go. Alright, move from parte. So, Imowen got suicidal. And killed Thank herself. You for your help. You have helped me again. And yes, can we go now? Join up! Now that we've got everybody together, let's make sure that Nalia is on her script. Range, done, done. And we've got Minsk has a level up, so Minsk will be a level 12 ranger. He gets a level 3 spell, and we'll put his proficiency point in axe. Yay! How are these guys doing? Oh, extremely close, and extremely close. Awesome, awesome. Great. 
So let's give this ring back to Valigar, because he gonna need it. And we will stay once again, and that is gonna be it for today. I appreciate you watching. I hope M1 fans were not upset, but I mean, she, was, she went crazy, and she got suicidal. I'm sorry. Uh, I will see you later.